I was so wrong. Stop trying to find your personal values and try this instead. It will boost your confidence and improve your decision making. I have always worked with people to try and identify their core personal values. And there is some value to that. I realized I was wrong though, and identifying your personal values only takes you part of the way. So today we'll talk about the one thing more important than identifying your personal values. We will go through step by step what to do instead and how to go about that. As I mentioned in the intro, this is very valuable to everyone. It'll boost your confidence and it will improve your decision making. Instead of just identifying your core personal values that can be very wide and generic, take it a step further and identify your core behaviors instead. What are the behaviors that if you keep to them, they will keep you in a good place? Turning values into behaviors makes them more powerful and more tangible. You should also work on one question to validate each behavior. This one question will bring clarity to your behavior. Let's look how we can achieve this in three easy steps. Step one would be to identify your top three core behaviors. If you're not sure, you can Google a list of behaviors and pick the top three that you feel most strongly about and that you feel you can always live by. I'll also give you some examples. Invest time in what could be, not what is. Spread knowledge. Embrace feedback. Lifelong learning. Stay positive. Embrace change. Never compromise my integrity. Aim to innovate. Stay fit. Work with passion. Prioritize family. And there are many, many more. If you can't find a list of core behaviors that match your core behaviors, then I suggest you Google a list of core personal values instead. There are many more of those and you just have to turn the values into behaviors. Step two is to put your top three behaviors to the test. So how do we put our behaviors to the test? Ask yourself questions like this. Would I compromise this behavior if I was offered a lot of money, for example? If the answer is yes to that question or another question that would make you break a behavior, it's not a core behavior and you should go back to step one to identify new core behaviors. Make sure you don't adapt someone else's core behaviors. Don't stress, measure your core behaviors over time. Always weigh important decision against your core behaviors. When you have identified your core behaviors, making big decisions or hard decisions will be much easier and you will feel way better after. Step three is to attach a question to each behavior. To validate yourself against your behaviors, attach a question to each behavior. These should be questions that can help you hold yourself accountable. Let me give you a few examples for myself. One of my values used to be growth. I turned that into behavior instead and it became to be a force for growth. The question that I attached to this behavior is how am I helping grow emerging leaders to become better versions of themselves. Here's another example. Creativity used to be one of my values and I also turned that one into a behavior. Creative problem solving. The question I attached to this one was, am I approaching all problems, big and small, in a creative manner? To be really clear, I'm not saying my questions are perfect. I come back to them on a regular basis to make sure they hold me accountable against my behaviors. Please hit the like button if this is something you will try yourself. At least for me, it has helped a lot. As I mentioned earlier, it has helped me with decision making and it's made me more confident. Thank you so much for watching and I see you all again next week. <music>